company and that you know we started in our little pub in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, which is still ground zero for what we do, but we've now grown into the biggest craft brewery in the mid-Atlantic and we're making you know over 6,000 cases of beer a day that go out to 27 states around the country. I'm, I'm proud of that growth and I know that our beers are really unique and, and world class, but I know that there are many world class breweries in America and that beer is subjective, you know, everybody likes different beers. So I think our story is more just recognized as um, as a good uh, illustration of what a, no a lot of small breweries go through and that we're sort of passion and beer focused instead of money and profitability focused uh, like the public giant companies that we compete against and I think in this you know economically challenging time in the days of the Enron scandals through the Madoff scandals Consumers want to believe in business and, and they want to embrace local businesses with a face. And I think craft breweries around this country, there's now 1,400 breweries, craft breweries in the country, give the consumers that opportunity to kind of vote with their pocketbook and their wallets against this, you know, faceless inter international conglomerate companies, these public companies that in part were part of the, you know, unraveling of our, our, of our, our economy. True. And while no product is recessive, proof I think craft beer you know great coffee artisanal breads bakeries those kind of businesses are relatively uh, recession um, resistant uh, because I think as people's you know um, expendable dollars become uh, tighter they're recognizing that the stuff that really gives them um, happiness and pleasure is the stuff closest to them and instead of that sort those sort of external status things they might not be able to afford the new SUV or fancy watch or whatever but to make the choice to spend one or two more dollars per six pack and trade up to world-class beer they recognize that as a truly affordable luxury and I think people are saying okay uh, the stuff that I that is part of me that I my, my body and that I can ingest and that I can share with my friends that increases my pleasure and uh, uh, is more full flavored and a bigger experience those are the things that I'm going to prioritize not those status symbol, expensive, keep up with the Joneses type of stuff. Yeah.